We got a new star soon off a 3.24.2 Evocati patch, just dropping not too long ago. Let's see what's in it. All right, guys, so just get straight into it. Um, under features and gameplay, they made um, a few updates to ships and vehicles here. It says salvage and mining will now function while in nav mode. Ooh, that's different. Salvage and mining will now work in nav mode. What's the implication of that? So that means I believe tractor beams will start working. Um, which was one of the big issues with some of the uh, utility vehicles, right? Which was tractor beams will work in nav mode. So that's a nice change. That's interesting. All right. Um, vehicle experience weapon tuning. It says reduce damage of all cannon ammo by 10%. Oh my gosh. They're, they're nerfing cannons too. Damn. <laughs> um, weapons and items. Uh, Multi-tool updates. Uh, it says to make the tractor UI more legible and usable with the new uh, no aim down sight system. We added uh, new indicators to distinguish between traversal, left mouse button, and uh, detachment, uh, right mouse button. It says here the traversal left mouse button will be four arrows moving icon and detach right mouse button will be chain link icon. Interesting. There's a few bug fixes with this one. Um, they fixed an issue where there is no option to power on EMPs. So now this is in relation to resource network. They fixed an issue where Carrick is missing internal elevators. They fixed an issue regarding elevator panels at Microtech Metro Loop leading to uh, NBIS Spaceport having missing text and buttons uh, entering and exiting uh, carriages. Okay, so they fixed an issue where vehicles altitude meter remains on vehicle hud after leaving atmosphere they fix an issue where target interactions on radar spheres does not update on target screens they fix an issue where ground vehicle mft power management screens are showing zero power and missing all columns they fix an issue for switching to advanced mode will hide the last row of library head they fix an issue where mft communication list is blank when friend is shown online in Moby glass. They fix an issue where many of the right eyebrow piercing clips into the skin. They fix an issue where guns, all groups can have guns disabled, still showing as guns all when cycle two. Uh, they fix an issue where cave entrance have uh, very noticeable LOD transitions. They fix an issue where scanning MFD screens has missing categories for the scanning target. They fix an issue where lead pip calculation is wrong and appears in wrong position when aiming for hits against vanguards. They fix an issue where item cards for shelf items are not displayed correctly and double text UI elements. They fix an issue where there is a section of large ascetic caves uh, that is inaccessible. They fix an issue where card grids is offset making some spaces on freight elevators uh, unusable. They fix an issue where the 400i ship cockpit is too bright for HUD and MFD visibility. They fix an issue where spawning Freelancer Max left engine is missing. They fix an issue where the star map route button not showing the route for the selected marker after hovering a different marker. They fix an issue where star map route button not correctly updating when selecting a location from the search list. The fix an issue with a mantis interior does not have atmosphere near the nose while sitting in the seats. They fix an issue where mantis lifts missing control panels. They fix an issue where text elements on the back weapon screen of the max lift tracked beams are stretched out of proportion. They fix an issue where um, universal stubble does not change color when no beard is attached. They fix an issue where uh, combined power management pips only toggle when selecting the top pip. That's interesting. Along with this is nine client crashes, 11 server crash fixes, and they fixed a server deadlock. Before I let you go, I'd like to let you all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.